In competitive exams like NEET or IIT, time is extremely short. So that means you should be able to solve problems quickly. So let us take an example. Here, I have this person here who is kicking a football from a building of height 10 meters. Now, the ball goes off with a velocity of 5 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees. It goes and hits the ground with a speed v and the question is asking us, find what is this speed v. Now, what is the usual way in which we would solve this problem? People would generally take this 5 and say, here is a projectile problem. Let us resolve this velocity into the horizontal and vertical components. So, 5 cos 30 degrees. And then they would say vertical component phi sine 30 degrees, right, meters per second. And then you will use the fact that it is vertical motion. You can write S is equal to ut plus half at square, simplify, find time, etc. and solve the problem, right. But that's really long. If you get into that approach, you will take at least 3 to 4 minutes to solve the problem. Instead, if you recognize that this ball has some mass, it has some potential energy, it has kinetic energy. And energy there must be equal to the total energy here. So if you can equate the total energies, you'll finish the problem in 30 seconds. So let us see. At that point, let's assume the mass of the ball is m. Mass is not given. Okay, so let us think about the mass as m. What is the potential energy of the ball? Well, it is m into g, which is 10, into h, which is also 10. So potential energy is 100 m. What is the kinetic energy at that point? Let me call this potential energy initial, kinetic energy initial. So what is the kinetic energy at that point? Half into m into v square, which is phi square. Phi square is 25. So this is 25 into m by 2. Okay. Now at this point when it hits the ground, what is the kinetic energy of the ball? Let me call it kinetic energy final. It is half into m into v square. And what is the potential energy of the ball? Well, it is zero because this is the ground level. So we are going to say that the potential energy is zero. Now you know that the total initial energy must be total final energy. So if we equate the two, then this is the total, which is m by 2 v square. And that must be equal to 100 times m plus 25 by 2 times m. I can cancel out the m and cross multiply by 2, you will see that this 2 goes there. So if I cancel this out and put a 2 in 2, so what do you get here? 225 is v square and so that means v is root of 225 which is 15 meters per second. So you see, it just took us a few like 30 seconds maybe to find out that the speed is 15 meters per second. If we had resolved it and done the same problem, it would have taken us much, much longer. So learning such shortcuts is really useful, particularly for competitive exams where time is extremely short. Aha Guru started when I was in 10. Um, so when I joined for the physics classes, I really found them very interesting and the way Balaji Sampath teaches is uh, just amazing. Uh, when I decided to prepare for medicine um, in 11th, I had to join Akash coaching. So I still wanted to continue his classes as well. So the option that I chose was his online uh, physics video classes. Um, that are available on Ahaguru's website and I feel they were actually very very helpful because um, anything that I did not understand I could actually watch those videos to understand them because it start in uh, his unique way where everything seems just so simple and I just really like listening to him uh, teach physics because he really likes teaching it and the way he teaches it is um, very, very relatable to me as a student. Mm -hmm.